Hi, so we're on the tube today on Hunter Color Ward. We're on Parquet Fernando and we're hunting for True Rex Black Books. And I've got loads of them in front of me. We've just started. I'm going to go over this location in a minute. That looks a big one. It's a legendary. Come on, Baxter. Now, we're on live now, so I've just started leveling up Baxter. He's about level 11 or 12. So I'm going to try and get him up to about level 15 by the end of today. He's just leveled up then, actually. This is like. I don't know what's going off because we've got big mule deer, we've got big true rex black books. He's a level five there. Now we've got a legendary water buffalo and a level five true rex black book. I think we've got an albino one as well, but I think that's like a three or something. So I'll try and shoot this level five black book. Hopefully it's a diamond. I am looking for one. That's why I'm on Parque Fernando today with Baxter. But we've also got a legendary water buffalo. I'm not sure what those for a while, so we'll try and get both of those. Now, for some reason, the level 5 black book, the shot wasn't a good one. We've got a second chance. I don't like doing that normally, but I do want a diamond one. So that should be a good one. For some reason, my top right health stats have just gone off the screen. So I don't know where I've hit him. I think it's good. I thought the first one was good, to be honest. But where's the water buffalo? Come on, Baxter. Baxter's doing really well. And I've trained him up a bit. He's staying close. Check out my other videos if you've already seen them. But how's your dog hunting been going? They are really useful. And the more you hunt with them, the better um, you progress with them. Right, here we go. Oh, I just moved. I think that's behind. I think we're in the mirror today, Baxter. You put me off. You got in my vision. <laughs> he didn't. It was just a bad shot. That should be a good shot. There was a very interesting video that went out on YouTube the other day from Expansive Worlds. Basically, it was the making of the Bloodhound and how they achieved it, how they went about getting the animations. But what was very interesting in that video, and I don't know if it's a teaser, there was a Labrador and I think a German pointer with motion gear on to get the animations and the reactions of the dogs. So maybe that's sort of like a little tease by the trainers. They could be the next species to come to Call of Wild, the next dogs after the Bloodhound. They would be very popular. A lot of people ask for Labradors and German Pointers. Um, so what do you think about that? Drop in the comments what you think. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it in the description. But check it out. Maybe they're just doing it for general dog animations. Um, and they're easy to use but they are asked for a lot as well so maybe they are already making the next dogs to come out for color wild like i said i thought it was interesting and it was nice how you could see all the detail that was going into making these dogs for color wild i do a lot of hunting with baxter like i say now i've leveled him up a bit he's starting to do what i want more often i've noticed he barks a lot there has been a few issues, but they'll get updated soon, I'm sure. Um, but overall, the dogs are really fun to hunt with. And hopefully, I can put them into action in a minute and find this water buffalo. I hope it's a diamond as well. As you've seen, the level 5 black book was a troll. I've shot two in the last few days, and they both not made diamonds. So I'm gonna stick at it till I get one. I will go over the locations on where to hunt black books in a minute. A lot of people aren't that familiar with them. And now they've been updated, a lot of people wanna hunt them. So that makes sense. And I've got some really good areas and it's really simple to follow. Come on Baxter, find me this legendary water buffalo. Hopefully it's a diamond and uh, today isn't a total blowout. It's just how it goes sometimes, you can't get Diamonds every time, you're gonna get trolled on certain animals, so don't get too mad about it. You're gonna get what you want. Sooner or later, you just gotta stick at it. Have fun. And don't make a chore. Don't make it a chore to get what you want. Just have fun and enjoy yourself. And um, that's what I do. And I swap animals around, hunt different things to break it up. If you just hunt one species all the time, it'll drive you crackers. I know I've done it. <laughs> right, is this gonna be a diamond? What do you reckon, Baxter? Yep. It is. So we've got diamond water buffalo, 172.90. The first shot was a flesh shot. The second shot was a bit late as well, really. Liver. That's the only reason I got that. So I need to get to the shooting range and practice a bit. That's not like me to mess a couple of shots up or 
I normally just take one shot. I don't normally take a second ever if I can help it. I just like one clean yeah. shot. So let's have a look at Baxter's progress, shall we? Right, over to the hunting dog. Now, our companion is at about 11 and a half, and we've got tracking at level 4. I did have it at level 15 um, previously in the content weekend, but I had to start it again because this is a different build. So I had to do Baxter again on live. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across all the bottom and unlock all of these traits. Now, there is a limit at the minute of level 15 because they're just trying to stop an issue that's been caused at the minute so it's a temporary fix but i'm hoping soon there'll be a proper fix out soon also if you're getting a slow-mo bug with dogs and um, what you can do is you can go into the hunting club beta turn that on and apparently that fixes a slow-mo it's only a temporary fix but give that a try if you're having any issues right we've come to this location now i normally get mule deer here sometimes axis deer um, you can find pumas as well so we'll see what's about I'm actually still looking for black books to be honest there's a red deer level 7 legendary puma so we've got a really nice puma here Baxter so 7 mil time <laughs> hoping that's a bit better than the last shots I don't like normally shooting front on for animals because you are definitely a bit more at the look of the hunting gods as to what sort of location of the body you get. It's a lot harder to hit a smaller target than it is broadside on. Broadside on I'd normally hit after the front leg, armpit area, and that's normally a lung. Um, but front on, like that, and lying down is normally a tough shot, but I think we've done what we needed to do. It is a legendary puma. I've got quite a few diamond pumas, um, so I might not even uh, taxidermize him. I don't know yet. Um, we do need to do Spring Creek Manor, and that's where the water buffalo is going to go. So I'm redoing that in a minute, uh, adding trophies as we get them. If you want to see me hunt any trophies, let me know about it. Come on, Baxter. We've got a nice easy one for you. It didn't run far. It is really good when when you do if you do a bad shot how far Baxter will run after it and if he gets in front of you he will stop and bark to you I do like that touch I don't know if you've noticed it but if you're messing about he will let you know like come on come on and he'll bark at one of the tracks if he's in front of you what animal or what reserve would you like next drop that in the comments we're getting through 2021 and we're almost halfway through so I'm guessing we'll probably have a new animal or a new reserve coming soon so what do you think that'd be i'd like some bird species uh, pheasants for example and obviously if they had more dogs that would definitely help that is a diamond puma so there we go dark red 101 kilo i won't like that on my back <laughs> i think we will taxi demise it just in case but uh, i think i'm just going to put the water buffalo in spring creek manor today Let's take a look at the location where to hunt black bucks. These locations are very good in general for red deer, black bucks, mule deer. What I generally do is I come at half past 11 and I've got two tents. I call this Bat Lake. Now you might be wondering why I call it Bat Lake. Well it's sort of like a bat head with like a bat wing sticking up. That's what I think anyway. You know it's the right place because there is a tree stand just there. But generally all around this sort of area from half past 11 Till about half past 12 you get a lot of animals in this area now I've got two tents in these locations because what happens is I start one of them if the animals aren't here I hop to the other one and also if animals are running up and down this area which they do you can jump to the other one behind or vice versa and catch up with them if they're running in front of you or running away from you so it's very handy how I've got this it's basically like a big football field sort of like a, a big oblong but uh, as you can see I shoot here a lot and I've got a lot of diamonds from this area so if you want black books half 11 to half 12 in this area is very good and you'll see a lot running up and down this river what happens is pumas also move in and they spook animals up and down this area as well so we've got the locations for the black books red deer mule deer 
water buffalo as you've just seen so there's a lot of animals in this area it's on the middle right of Parque Fernando and it's really good like I say give it a try put your tents where I've got mine and let me know how you get on right we've covered Bat Lake and all these locations of where to hunt there what I'm going to tell you about next is where we've just got the Diamond Puma now that location I've had more diamond mule deer than anywhere in any other reserve now at this lake it looks like an elephant's here as you can see it's at Bosque Muerto and this is where I have my tent at the side of it there is a stand you can hunt from if you want to but if you have your tent here I come at 8 12 2 and 4 I try those times and in this sort of location there's often a big herd of mule deer red deer pumas axis deer so you got a lot of animals just there in that location I've had I think three diamond true racks mule deer there I've had other diamond mule deer before true racks at this location so this location is very good for mule deer um, if you want one I just thought I'd show you that because a lot of people do ask about some of these locations so I thought I'd show you where I'm hunting right Spring Creek Manor let's have a look where to put this new diamond water buffalo and I think I've got a great location for it as you've seen over the last few weeks if you haven't checked out my videos I've been working on this trying to get more diamonds into Spring Creek Manor because there's a lot of areas I haven't filled up and just above the door as you walk in there is a very large plaque on the wall so that's where we're going to put the diamond water buffalo that may change at some point but for now we've got another diamond to add in here and that's where the diamond water buffalo is going I've really enjoyed hunting with Baxter today hunting with dogs is a lot of fun let me know how you're finding it I really would like to know about it and what breeds of dogs you would like next let's move him to a good pose I think that one will do looks really nice I only just fit on this balcony with him I'm just going to go to the stairs and have a look see what it looks like some of this may change all of it may change that's the good thing about the trophy lodges you're always upgrading changing things getting better trophies replacing lower class ones until you get the ultimate trophy lodge I'm working on to see this wide trophy lodge to make that the best in Call of Ward and I'm going to try and do this with Spring Creek Manor as well so I've got the ultimate trophy lodges right so that looks nice so yep today we've been hunting with Baxter I'm trying to get him up to level 15 I hopefully do that by the end of today I'm on McTube please subscribe to my YouTube channels we managed to bag a diamond water buffalo today and a diamond puma I really enjoyed it hunting with dogs is a lot of fun in Call of Wild. back to Parquet Fernando for me gonna try and find that diamond true rex black book for my next video hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye bye